All right, we have made it to Memphis. This is the place I'll be staying. It's not ready yet. I don't get to check in for another three hours. So we're here way ahead of schedule. So let's go hit downtown and see what we can find there. I managed to find a pub here in Nashville. What are the chances of that? Finding a nice big old British pub. Right across from the hotel that we're uh, staying at, or doing all of our events at. I'm staying at an Airbnb, but uh, I could get used to this. So, first beer in Nashville. Here's to many more. Cheers to our future. Sing along up one more thing. We're going to call it a night right here. Well, let me <laughs> sing one thing here. Whatever you want, Donna. When Doyle first discovered me at the VFW Hall in Mookie's Gap and asked me to be his new Debbie, I knew deep down that I'd never be able to live up to the standard set by the original Debbie and her subsequent replacement. I just, I hope that maybe I could play a small part in resurrecting the awesome music of an overlooked country legend, Mr. Doyle Mayfield. Yes, sir. Come on. Yeah. 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 But the way you people have treated me here tonight makes me think that maybe things might could work out after all. <laughs> when I see the way his fans have stuck by him through divorces and child custody battles. <laughs> Copyright infringement, and <laughs> harassment charges, and bankruptcy, and fraud. And I think what Debbie's saying here is that no one in country music has as much loyalty in their fan base as Doyle and Debbie. Because the only reason we're here is because y'all are there. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> if her kids were not in the car, we'd play all night long. That's a treat. I'm happy to There you go. I guess we got time for one more good old Dolan and Debbie song. Hope it's the one you've been waiting for. Buddy! Three, four! I was pushing a mop at my daddy's big and shop. Another day of crime didn't 
to the stop when she walks in the door. here by the station in, which apparently is a landmark around here I didn't know I've never been to Nashville who knew but there it is right there we got to see the Debbie and Doyle show which was hilarious I don't know how else to say it but I've come here I've been treated to entertainment and I've already met some of the executives and I've talked over the projects that are coming along here it's been pretty awesome you know, it's one of those rare times when I go, I think I might actually fit in here. It doesn't happen often. So here I am at this roof bar. Let's turn around. Yeah, it's been awesome. I've been meeting with uh, movie execs, other people working in my genre. Um, it's rare that I find myself among other people who are so forward looking and trying to make their projects happen. They thought someone else was trying to do a clown event, trying to do something like that. And I'm like, that's awesome, you know? And here we are headed downstairs to the lobby after hours of meeting with these folks. I'm just energized. It's like, I don't want to go home, but it's like nearly midnight and uh, wow, I just had a great night and uh, it's great to talk with other people in the same genre as you who are working on the same kind of things as you and making stuff happen. This has been great.